It's a moment seven decades in the making. Charles became heir to the British throne at the age of just three. Now 74, his coronation marks a new chapter for an ancient institution. King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla were taken by carriage from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey. Hundreds of thousands of people lined the route of the procession, just as they had done eight months ago for the funeral of Charles's mother, Queen Elizabeth II. A small number of anti-monarchy protesters briefly drowned out the cheers. Inside the abbey, a congregation of more than 2,000 people, the royal family, kings and queens, presidents and prime ministers, and members of the public. Prince Harry, Charles's youngest son, attended alone amid continued strained relations. This was not a day for family drama, though, but for pomp and pageantry, deeply imbued with Christian faith. Some of the rituals remain unchanged over 1,000 years. The coronation oath has stood for centuries and is enshrined in law. Are you willing to take the oath? I am willing. For the first time, female bishops took part in the service alongside leaders of other faiths. The Archbishop of Canterbury placed the crown upon Charles's head. God save the King! God save the King! Gun salutes rang out across Britain. In a touching moment, Charles's son, Prince William, pledged his allegiance to the King. I, William, Prince of Wales, pledge my loyalty to you and faith and truth I will bear unto you as your liege man of life and limb. So help me God. Here in London and in cities, towns and villages across Britain, people have gathered together to watch this ancient and extraordinary ceremony. The rain may be falling, but people here are determined that spirits won't be dampened. Many felt they witnessed a part of history. A uh, moment once in a life, you know, it's magical. I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's such an incredible event. The King and Queen return to Buckingham Palace in the Gold State Coach, built in 1762. Above a sea of British flags, the royal family gathered on the balcony to greet an adoring crowd. Charles and Camilla face undoubted challenges, keeping the monarchy relevant to modern British society, facing up to its role in Britain's often brutal colonial past. The King has voiced determination to take on those challenges, an evolving monarchy steeped in colourful tradition. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.